next guest is a true trailblazer, a beauty boss, and the self-proclaimed queen of hair. In less than 10 years, Monique Rodriguez went from being a nurse to a global entrepreneur as the founder and CEO of the cult favorite hair care brand, My L. She went on to become the first black woman to secure a nine-figure investment and then announce an historic partnership with P&G Beauty. It is a journey that Monique hopes will empower and inspire women everywhere. Take a look. The vision for my yell came about in 2013 after suffering a traumatic loss with my son when I was eight months pregnant. I was in a very dark and depressed state. One day I had the vision to just go on social media and talk about something that I was extremely passionate about, and that was hair care. Women started gravitating to that information, and I went from educating to making my own products with different ingredients from my kitchen cabinet. My goal is for every product to be a number one top seller and for all of our consumers to absolutely love it. My ultimate purpose is serving others, and I believe that's what we're here on this earth to do. Please welcome Monique Rodriguez to the show. I mean, first of all, congratulations on everything. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. What, I mean, what a beautiful story and a beautiful intention about empowering other women to be a boss in whatever they do. And we have breaking news. So you just announced Angel Reese, LSU star, is now part of your family. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's an ambassador. Yes. Um, what drew her? She's, she's red hot right now. Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Of course, LSU being the champion. It, uh, and now she's with the brand. Yes. What drew you to Angel? So, I mean, obviously, she's beautiful, right? And Mayo's goal is to bridge the gap between sports and beauty and to find an ambassador that aligns with our goals and our mission, right? And Angel, she exudes confidence, strength, resilience, you talk a lot about the challenges that black women um, who found companies, who find companies, who start out businesses, the challenges. Um, how do you overcome those roadblocks? And that's a big question, right? Because people yeah. often ask me about roadblocks to getting, and I say, well, sometimes if you look at the roadblocks, you don't see the road. Yeah. So it's a balance, right, of saying, this is how you move ahead, but recognizing some of the things you'll have to leap over. A absolutely. Any obstacle or challenge that you face is an opportunity. Yeah. It's an opportunity for you to grow. It's an opportunity for you to learn fr from that challenge. And it's an opportunity for you to, to just be the best version of yourselves and to be a better person and to know that it's a part of the process, it's a part of the journey. And you're gonna get a lot of no's yeah. on this journey, but if you get no's, it means you're talking to the wrong person. And you gotta talk to the right I person right to get a yes. You have your two daughters, mm -hmm. adorable daughters, I should say, <laughs> and your business is named, I can't believe how big they are now. Yeah, I feel like so since big. we've been watching you launch, <laughs> I said adorable, I still picture them as tweens. Yeah. Now they're glamorous, beautiful young women. They're so um, You talk a lot about legacy and that this is not just a one-off for you. And Melvin, this is about legacy. Yeah, this is about my kids. And when you think about legacy, it's not just about you know what you do when you're no longer here on this earth. Legacy is about what you can do while you're still living and breathing. And it's about impact. And I want my great-great-grandkids to walk into a store and to see a Mayo product and say, my great-great-grandmother created this product, right? And not only did she create... And, and not only did she create amazing products for people, but she created a legacy and she invested back into her community because it's about investing and bringing the next generation up as I continue to climb, right? And so as a part of our partnership with Procter & Gamble, we launched Myel Cares, which we donated $10 million each to the advancement of black and brown communities so we can create more Monique Rodriguez. <laughs> Well, all of the success is well-deserved, and we Thank are you. so happy that you're part of the TAM fam. Congratulations. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so here's the deal. TAM fam in the audience, it's your lucky day, because Monique did not come empty-handed. <laughs> she 
has brought her favorite Myel products just for you from her Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo to her pomegranate and honey foil salty custard. You can get it all because you're all going home with $100 Myel gift cards to make sure your hair is beautiful and luscious and taken care of. Congratulations on everything. We appreciate you.